of Medan. Right, uh, we're going to carry on where we left off last time. Uh, as you can see, our current objective is to find out what has happened on the Duke. Okay, let's go. Hey, what the hell is going on? What the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's all right now. Ooh. Oh, nothing. Your brother just took it upon himself to blow up my grill. Conrad, what is wrong with you? Uh, why are you playing the ocean? Uh, what's up with the... Oh, yeah, what was what up with that other, other boat? Yes. These fishing guys came by and ran into the dive line. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane. And it is huge. Full of cool stuff. Oh my god, you guys. Can you all just shut up for like one second? <laughs> Holy shit. Dude, bro, congrats. Nicely done. Come up and let's celebrate. Yeah, let's celebrate. Sink a couple of bottles of cold beer. Oh, hello. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his Shaking little his brother up. Brad trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. And he, the love of hers. What about Conrad, a bold fellow, you might say? Or maybe you'd say Aaron. Oh, what, those mercenaries? And then there's hmm. Captain Fliss, strong, forthright, stubborn. She mm. appears somewhat immune to Conrad's charms, so far at least. Let me reassure you, you help them to make some decisions Special feature on later on. You're doing well. Thank you very much. I'll take that as a pat on the back. Ooh. Evening time now. Sun setting. Or oh, has set, should I say. So we're like ten seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Well, certain I mean that's relative. And this meatball Meatball. This meatball pulls a ring out of God. Ah, so we're knows playing where. as Julia. Yeah, where did you and buy the ring? Seven minutes past ten. Turns. Well, needless to say, this lady was impressed. <laughs> well played there, man. She was impressed. Wasn't Conrad gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with Maybe. this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for <laughs> I'll go look for him. Oh, go and look for him. Oh, a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. So, how does it feel to soon be known as the Mrs. Julia Smith? Mrs. Smith. Uh, just have a nice ring to it. I'm sick of my own. Honestly, just have a nice ring to it. I wasn't sure how it would feel, but now that I hear it, it does have a nice ring. So yeah, uh, and she's got a nice ring on her finger room. too. Uh. Eventually. <laughs> uh, let's plan it together. I can foot the bill. Let's plan now it together. You're speaking my language. I'm taking lessons. Yeah. And I can't wait for us to plan everything together. Sort of. I was so worried you might forget that no. this is a horror game. <laughs> uh, reassuring or aggressive? Reassuring. Of course, I was gonna say yes, you dimwit. I'm happy you did. The second you said yes, I could see our whole future rolling out ahead of us. Uh, adoring or playful? I love you, I love baby you, girl. There we go. We get all the lovey dovey stuff in before all the horror unfolds. <laughs> I'll go find them. You just relax. Bearing updated. Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. So, which one is, uh, you know, where the magic happens? 
<laughs> with a magic carrot. <laughs> Disapproving or frustrated? What's your problem? Disapproving. Give it a rest already. Okay, that's enough of that. Conrad, beers, where are they? Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. Uh, something was going to be going on there between them. Having a couple right. of beers in the boat here. in the middle of the ocean. Let's take a look at the navigator what could go wrong? Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. Well, let's so, have a look, see what this is. Leaving, ah, this is the camera, isn't it? Ten eighty P pictures and it's waterproof up to thirty meters. Bit like a GoPro. Uh, wait, what do you mean? You told me to follow my heart. Uh, one, I'm not that sappy. And two, I'm ah. about med school. Still. A uh, rescue surface. So we're going again tomorrow. Uh yeah. It seemed a little too dangerous for my blood. Relax, Brad. How many times do I have to tell you not to be such a wuss? Hey, got the pad like yet? The Sorry, I got the distracted. No worries. Millennia okay. Falcon. Wait, wait, where's the camera gone? Ha! <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted. Got it. Let's go up. Come here, you vixen. Easy, tiger. We should get back. Right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone, check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find ah. some sunken treasure? So, what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. Do you find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, that makes sense. After the war, they'd turn long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot so down. So it was a bomber. It was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. It's a bad juju. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. Uh, dismissive, apologetic. You're yeah, right. apologetic. We should have been more careful. That's not me, I'm sorry. Okay, maybe. Try and defuse the situation. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. Mm. You think you can scavenge down there yeah, and it makes no Juju. difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Brad, you got a fun ghost story, right? Yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Uh, skeptical. Let's hear it. Supportive. I bet you can spin a good yarn. Yes, it's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true huh. story? Where'd you hear this? If you need to know, it's ripped right from the rotting pages of the terrifying ancient in-flight magazine I was perusing on our way here. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest uh -huh. of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. Uh -huh. 
the lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. Mm. He hurries to her aid, and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Yep. Smooth. Right, uh, annoyed or amused? Annoyed. The woman answers. Yes. I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for mm. years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. Ooh. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? Okay, fine. Then it was a meat hook. They were slashed with a meat hook. Jason Voorhees right. likes to use an axe. <laughs> um, probing, disgusted. Wait a minute. Are you changing the oh, murder like... weapon? I thought this was a true story. There's a lot of blood, a lot of carnage. Who's to say how it was done? Okay, so who did it? So, the woman, uh, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here. In the closet. Ha! <laughs> so is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, no backseas. You're locked in. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and, sure enough, there's a man inside. But he sliced out his own insides with a meat hook. Horrifying. Ugh. He looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. I know what you did closer. last summer. Vibes. Closer. And he sees. It's his own face. And then its Ooh. eyes bulge out and screams. Super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. It's a good job I'm playing this in, <laughs> in daylight. Uh... You have me going. Uh, Pretty to... cool. Heavy on the cheese there. Yeah, uh, I dog. thought it was quite cool too. Okay, <laughs> you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. Because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting. The Straight up. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, ma'am. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddy. And I'm out. Oh, the bad weather is moving in. Of Milan. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> so we're playing as Conrad now. I wonder if this is going to be a dream. Oh, the hell are they? That. <coughs> oh, touch for that. Cool it. Cool it. Oh, it's them pirates. Day pirates, we are. Ha <laughs> um. <Yeah>. ha. <laughs> 
she knows these waters and I think that's the right choice. Sorry, how was I supposed to know? How was I supposed to know? Oh, he's got blood on his head, doesn't he? How we got that? Uh, almost free. Hey, so uh, good news, bad news. Bad news? I don't see how this could get any worse. Bad news, bad news is <laughs> these are kind of. Maybe the fisherman I pissed off earlier. Oh, God damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How was that good news? I thought you were going to ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. Hey. Alex, what are they going to do to us? I don't even want to know. I want to get out of here. We're in a lot of danger. Uh, investigate or unite. <laughs> Tie. Unite. Right That's now. my dyslexia. <laughs> There's one eye, Willy. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. <laughs> oh, he's gonna get some bad juju on him. Ooh! He's gonna go for a swim with the fishies. Oof! Flippins or serious flippins? Oh yeah, you know how to treat a lady, right? <laughs> oh! Oh! This could be his demise. Slow down. Easy. Oh, 
Jesus, Conrad. Dick. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I don't think they're gonna hit her. They haven't hit Fliss. Fliss sure seems to be getting buddy buddy with him. Uh, did you see my brother? Maybe yeah. she's in with them? Maybe. He's hiding. He's okay. All right. Turn around. your hands. Once we get Julia back, maybe we can take him by surprise. Okay, they're coming. Uh, Who's down the background? Fuckers. That's the guy from the library. Hey, hey, are you okay? What did they do to you? I'm fine. They didn't touch me. They asked about parents. What? How much money they have. Alex, I'm so Ransom. sorry. What? what is it? They took my ring. <sighs> Julia, it's okay. It's okay. It's just a ring. It's just a ring. You can always get another one. He's <laughs> done that with the heat without even opening the scissors. <laughs> now we just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. Yeah, I wonder. Optimistic, belligerent. Uh, if optimistic. you can distract him, I can get on that boat. The dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. It's getting closer. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I'll go through the window and get the boat. You guys distract them. Conrad, just stay focused and get to the boat. Okay, let's do it. This isn't going to end well, is it? gonna fall in. Mm. Ah, right, okay. I think she's in with them. He's gonna shoot him. Fliss, I got this. Let me handle it. She's definitely in with them. She's definitely, definitely in with them. What are you doing, you idiot? Careful. Don't make this worse. Think about what you're doing, boy. Conrad! Yeah, listen to one eye, Willie. You beat these assholes! This kid's trying to kill me oh, or to... <laughs> Weird thing with his eye. <laughs> Use crazy. it if you have to. Well, that was great. 
I wonder what would have happened if it would have chose Sit escape. Down. Would he have actually escaped or would he have still got Ooh. caught? Right here. Mm. Sit. Now. Arrêtez, bon de con. C'est mon bateau. Stop. My boat stop. Ferme là, ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule. Ouais. Very nice, putting his fist in her face. What's he looking for? Olsen! Ooh! Come here! He's found the coordinates. Which one of you is gonna tell me about this Manchurian goo? Ooh. Hey, welcome to the stream. It's going to play as Fliss now. Or reassuring, reassuring. No just talking. You want to talk? Keep the volume down. I'm just gonna say it. Fliss has got to be in on this. She and these guys. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's quite sunny water. here in Liverpool as well. Like <laughs> Not. <laughs> it's raining them. cats and dogs. Welcome to the stream. The nice to have you on board. They're in cahoots. Oh, what are they gonna do? How? How dare you, or it isn't true. How dare you? Out of yes. your mind? How did you come up I with think she is. Shit? I How think she is. You, you I think she's in with them. Asshole. Here, and one eye, Willie. Maybe like good others, or this is a trap. And you family. Put a cork in it. Put a cork in it. <laughs> oh, oh. Ah, too slow. Ah, uh, thanks very much for the follow. Really you appreciate it. Come with me. Yeah, she's it's defo, don't you think? Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Will you try anything, anything fishy, and there'll be consequences. Requesting weather update. Over. Do we read you? Everything okay? Over. Ooh. Defiant. Ask for help or how how bad's the hey, storm? Uh, yeah. Cool. Just requesting any information about this storm you can give us. It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not oh, you're on afternoons, are you? Or uh, is it? Uh, uh, ooh, serious problem. Nothing wrong. Nothing wrong. I will <laughs> yeah. go for that one. Here. Uh, okay. okay out here. We can handle it. Yeah, you working over the weekends? Uh, thanks for the info. We'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. Oh, I got that one. Ah, oh, no, didn't get that one. Oof. Slow. He saved that. Everything's better when we help each other out. You get that? Don't you? Eight till twelve. Well, I hope that uh, that you have a nice, cool, and uh, non-stressful shift. Okay, oh, yeah, the ropes, cut it all bolts. Well, 
Uh, help. Oh. Hey. Move it. Now. Still haven't found the brother. He's still hiding. And so you know, whatever. And you underneath the bumpers. Is he hiding somewhere? Brad, I just bumpers. said that. <laughs> I just said that as well. <laughs> uh, he could help. He might drown. He might drown. Yeah, yeah. He might do. him down there. He could drown. Mm. We need to get him out of there. He's not safe. Brad, buddy, come out. Move. There he is. Looks a bit wet. He could have drowned. That's some rough storm, that is, isn't it? He's only got one item. Ooh! Hello! Ooh! <laughs> Oh, still hello. alive. Things could have been quite different. Well, thank you very much. <sighs> Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? Um, curious. <laughs> okay then. Yeah, that's a good university. For inspiration. My nephew uh, went there. Of Venice, Act Two, scene and be, only been five minutes from work. Prince of Morocco pulls too bad, a is scroll it? from the eye of a skull and reads, "All that glisters is not gold." Often have you heard that told? Ah. Oh. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant goals. distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Mm. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. <sighs> Probably shouldn't have said that. <laughs> I like the way you just pops back in and cuts the story, or cuts into the story. It seems a bit calmer now, doesn't it? La porte, la porte. Oh, so we can play as comrade. So they can't escape. Maybe she's got a spare one, maybe. Knocking about somewhere. Go. Oh. Get up, get up, get up.
Wow. Yeah, this was a bit in the prologue where we seen the little demon kid running across, and then the soldiers got killed. There's a cemetery, right? Right, go down that way. Over there. Oh, he's. Ah, we can. Oh. Mm, maybe we can pick that up a bit later on. If we get a chance to go down into the cargo hold. This whole place is a floating death trap. Oh, you're not far wrong there. Hey, hey. Oh, you won't let us go past them. Keep moving! Dookie. <laughs> Look at them feet hanging there. <laughs> Who do they belong to? <laughs> Hello? It's <laughs> a random pair of feet hanging. Okay. Ooh! It's all rusty and everything. It's definitely seen better days. No! Oh! <laughs> that got me then. Ugh. He won't let us go past him to investigate, but no, he won't. Okay. Go in here. I did not sign up for a trip to Creek Town. Something about this place is making my hair stick up so far it's gonna What's jump that? out of my neck. Masks of madness. Yeah. Is it? No, we can't. We go past. No, we can't. So we've got to go in. Fine. Oh, get in! Now oh, there's that cross. That the radio operator had before that four armed whatever it was took him out. I can't. Stay back. Like that. Okay. Ah, there's something we can interact with there. Miller. Move. On this side. What the hell do these dickheads want with us? Can we come this way? No, we've got to go down there with them, haven't we? It's just search that, hasn't it? If we go over this side. Nope. Oh shit! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh god. I am no good with these types of games. Woo! <laughs> Memorandum. Okay, the 14th Division Army. Uh, you're covering Patterson's guard duties tomorrow. Uh, he's sick again. Conveniently, it's always when he's on guard duties. In hole 3A, first is uh, 2400 hours. Check the chart for uh, rotation. Okay, anything on the back? Ah, yeah. Again, this is the third time this week. None of us like it down there. Maybe Patterson should bunk up. Mm, or book up, sorry. 
Uh, just get on it. Right, okay. That must have been where those coffins were stored at the beginning. Let's pop that in his pocket. Down here, I doubt it. You're Ooh. about to see. Okay, all of you, into the room. Well, let's do what one eye Willie says. The captain's cabin. Oh, there's a pitch. Ooh. Where did she just? Where did she pull that from? She's got skin tight shorts on. Where, where did she pull that from? Oh well, she's got at least uh, she's got a light. What the There's some pictures the on the wall, place? and we can get premonitions from pictures. Uh, confidence, abandoned ship. Those meatheads seem to be Dude, spooked. Yeah, they do. Even those meatheads seem spooked. You think this ship yeah, is definitely. the Venturian gold? We are in the vicinity of those coordinates. Mm. We can't just sit around. We need a plan. Yeah. We're not exactly in the best position to be making any moves. Second they let their guard down, we gotta take advantage of it and get off the ship. It's dangerous here. Uh, I'm here too, but it's yeah, dangerous man. here. This whole rust bucket's one tetan shot from the bottom of the ocean. We already tried to escape. Didn't exactly work out. They swiped our distributor cap. Gonna be difficult to get anywhere without it. Hmm. Yeah, hotwire it or what's the distributor cap? Mm, we could hotwire so can't it. We just like hotwire it or something? No, you can't hotwire it. We need the distributor cap. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're gonna find on this floating coffin. Gotta take advantage and look around for a way out of here. Fliss, I just wanted to say that um, I might have gotten things kind of wrong back there. Uh, excuse me? I may have kind of prematurely come to the conclusion that maybe, you know, you're working some kind of side deal with these guys or whatever. I thought that. But I, I mean, I still obviously do. that's not true. They're being just as bad to you as they are to us, so... Yeah. Allow me to translate. He's saying that he's sorry. Well, I... Hmm. Well, your apology is kinda accepted. Cool. Nice. Cool. So we're all on the same sheet now. Okay. So we've got the door there. We'll come to that in a minute. We've got a picture here. We've got a premonition. A possible premonition. This was ripped off. Maybe. Hmm. So, Willie told you this would be a quick little adventure. Was there something in this small print? Should we expect an itemized bill for all these uh, extras? Yes. Let's uh, 750 a year. extra time, 350 an hour. So, Mrs. Rivera, uh, apartment 275, says, hey, Hi, baby doll, I miss you like crazy, uh, three months until my next leave, and jumping into your arms. Three months I've been uh, on some shore leave with the guys, had a few beers, but don't worry, I'm keeping everything ready for you. <laughs> if you catch my drift, uh-huh. How's work? I hope that the boss, uh, that boss of yours, is leaving you alone. Hmm. I know you can take care of yourself, but I feel helpless being so far away. And I just want uh, to keep you safe. Anything on the Great. back? Yes. Of all the places I'm gonna die. Uh, I get a lot of bona fide ghost ship. I get a lot of time uh, to think while I'm guarding uh, the cargo holds. It's dark and spooky down there. Oh, you're not kidding. 
Some of the other guys have seen a figure running around. Yes, that creepy little kid. Uh, but I've also got you with me to keep me safe too. Uh, I'll, I, I will be with you soon and get a job as a mechanic and we can get married. Have uh, two children. Oh, two children, very specific. Uh, we'll be happy together forever. Love you so much, Miller. Kiss, kiss. Well, just one kiss. Okay. Uh, it's creepy down there. Let's have a look at this. Ooh, a pair of spectacles. Real, real creepy. Got to be. Why? Um, hmm. I really don't want to know what these guys are gonna do with us. Hey, keep your eyes peeled for another uh, opportunity. You feel me? Hmm. Huh. Oh, an air vent. Hello. <laughs> Overseas, uh, archaeologist missing in Iraq. Uh, 24th British archaeologists, tw 24 British archaeologists, and pardon, pardon my reading, uh, have gone missing in the Zorgoros Mountains of Iraq. Uh, the Hodgson expedition arrived in the kingdom in September last year with the state, uh, which stated goal of unearthing the. Dot, 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 dot. I guess that's Ill illegible. I wonder if those coffins at the beginning were part of the expedition, but they were draped in American flags, and that says it was a British expedition. Is that an expedition? Hmm. Let's explore in the engine room. Couple of holds. Are you serious? The ship's falling apart. So that's yeah, a few. Oh, them an asshole. Stop, stop, stop it. Prisoners, is this a prison? Yeah, it's lovely. They're proper scared, aren't they? Something's wrong here. Yeah, you're not kidding. It's a weird place, yep. We're only supposed to rob them. And then we're stuck in the strapping boats. The whole thing's going too far. Both of you, shut up. Yeah, yeah, I'm your captain and I'm telling you to obey my orders. Maybe that's something we can use as a bit of leverage later on, maybe. Uh, talking of leverage, you need something to... I didn't. I don't recall seeing anything that we can use for... Any luck? I can't get it open. Hey. Let's get it open. Come here. If we can bust it open... Freedom. Oh, 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 we yeah, don't know where the place is going. Uh, just find out. It can't be worse. Yeah, it's where true. It can't be worse. It can't be worse than here. Just Want me to just smash through this wall? Oh yeah, sure. Big man on campus. Someone should create a distraction. This is gonna be loud. Wait, wait. 
Maybe we should try barricading the door instead. Hmm. Traits updated. Barricade, I reckon. Yeah. Barricade the door and then smash through the grill. Come uh. on. Oh, put you back into it. Oh, it's making a lot of noise. Come on. Where the door opens outwards. <laughs> oh! I made a lot of noise. Come on, you can keep it barricaded. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, push. Uh, go, 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 go. Definitely. Oh, damn it. Are we safe now? Stay quiet. We need to keep going. No, fuck that. We have to go back for Fliss. I'm the reason she got snagged. When did yep. you get the plaster on his ear? No way. Hmm. No heroics. We gotta get as far away from here as we can. Shit. You're right. We locked at him then. Hmm. We can have a look in here. Can we go in here? We certainly can. Oh, what's this? Robert? Ah, yes. Uh, ship's personnel, extra guard duty regulations due to the special security precautions on this mission. Special security precautions. Wow, okay. Additional procedures must be adopted by soldiers on guard duty. Uh, double guard duty on all doors and on all watches. No talking, no playing of games, no smoking, no alcohol, no gambling. Just like being in work. Uh, guard personnel found breaking any of these regulations will be met with the sternest punishments up to and including... Oh, sorry. Up to and including a court mar Oh, court martial By orders of Captain Ford... Guys, nobody is allowed into 3A. Seriously, nobody. <gasps> I wonder what they were carrying. Mmm. Plot thickens. Double guard duty. Let's proper quick with this. I'm going to get a jump scare here in a minute. I love we can interact with this, can we? Yeah. Ooh. Okay. What sort of place is this? I'd like the washroom. Oh, where they do the laundry, sorry, laundry room. By the looks of it. What's that? Shredded clothes? And then there's the mystery of the smelling socks and punching briefs. Mm. There's the washing machines there. And tumble dryer. Oh, hello. <laughs> over here right uh, I think I'll leave it there I have to get going and start getting ready for work myself listen thanks very much for watching I hope you have a lovely day in work 
uh, and thank you for the follow and I'll catch you uh, on the next time I'll probably tomorrow when I'll be streaming some more of the man of mandolin <laughs>